Got the Tic Tac cocktails, Andrew Heaton. You ready? Uh huh. So, Andrew, this is the first time doing this. Uh -huh. We're gonna go through and watch some TikTok cocktails, and we're gonna see whether or not we think it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna throw it to Brianna, she's gonna make the thing, and we get to try it. So it's not just jailbait twerking, there's like whiskey and stuff on here too? <laughs> got my wine, got my rum. You got a watermelon scoop yes. there. Mm -hmm. To come behind that with your little rosé, okay? You got a rum blender. That's nice in there. Very specific kind of blender. Mm -hmm. I could have put that in earlier. But this guy I, looks like he should be making this cocktail behind a swim up bar at a Sandals resort. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to like this. No? I, I'm not big on watermelon flavor. Oh, okay. Well, that's, dude, I mean, it's freaking water. It's in a watermelon. Well, well they're adding, okay. they're already a lot of liquor. Okay. They've added a lot of liquor to it. So. Drink responsibly. Don't drink it. <laughs> what are you telling us to drink responsibly? He has, he has a giant spear of booze. <laughs> Do we get it served in a watermelon? I don't know, man. I just showed up, just like you. Take that guy down. Oh, my God. Would you look at those melons? <laughs> get it. You cut it in half. Just go. That was pretty. Oh, that was bad. Whoa, that was sick, though. Look at this. Oh. What? I'm like a dad, you know? <laughs> making, making cocks outside. <laughs> Get out of here. And you scoop them out one by one. <laughs> So maybe we just get real, like you're carving a pumpkin. We're like the inside of a skull. Now we're gonna fill this one up. I'm 100% uh, regretting this. <laughs> All right. Nice and clean. You're gonna do six seconds of your white rum. One, two, three, four, five, six. He uses a rosé that's not available, so we got this one that's just as good. Don't worry about it. And then he just, Pours it in. That felt good. So we're gonna blend this up. And then we gotta add ice. Oh my gosh, all right. Fudge. So, oof. Something happened here. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna blend it again. Okay, all right. A lot of that went in my shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that went inside to my sock. All right, let's fucking blend this shit. Yeah, that worked. All right. Okay, all right. Um, so we gotta do that to the next one. Pour it in. Okay. Gotta hit this one! We'll do two straws. Get out of here. That's amazing. That one is leaking though. It's actually pretty good. Oh, you have. Whoa! Wow. Oh. Look at this. Here you go. Ooh. Thank you. So, so uh, immediately great points on presentation. I feel like it would be very difficult to do this in moderation. Yeah. If you give me a watermelon o rum, I'm not like, well, a quick one and then back to surgery. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you're kind of this is your day now. Is you're gonna hang out by a pool? Can I? Can I? Can yeah, I yeah. jump in? Let's go. In. Don't like that. Backyard. You and your friends all just became of drinking age. Uh -huh. And somebody decided, guys, guys, I got the greatest idea for a cocktail. It's a summer backyard barbecue. They got a bucket full of like old leftover booze. Uh -huh. They got some cold watermelon, and then they put this together. It just becomes watered down with all the watermelon juice. You like, know what? I, I don't think a... I like watermelon, even in pristine watermelon form. Like watermelon, what is it? Watermelon is just expensive water, and I don't feel like you're getting much bang for flavor. It's a try-hard celery stick. I like watermelon. Uh -huh. I enjoy the watermelon. You enjoy armored water? Yes. Water you have to fight for. Yeah, okay. You well, yards. If watermelons could run away from me and I had to kill them with a Bowie knife, right? maybe I would enjoy it a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow worse. Okay. And now there's booze in my eye. Can, can I try this right? All right. One, two, no! <laughs> Smoked rosemary Negroni sour. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I like, do you like rosemary? Yeah. Are you a Negroni guy? I have been a Negroni guy. Mm -hmm. I'm usually an old fashioned guy, but I'll drink a Negroni. Yeah, you are an old fashioned guy. You get a lot of old fashions yeah. here, it's cool. I do. 
Oh, I have no idea what that was. Ice. I'm just seeing Shaking a lot of stuff coming together. Shaking so the they thing, smoked nice. the glass. Okay, nice. Um, Whoa. Glass and smoke, you wouldn't, that actually looks really nice. Rihanna! You, this is a tradition. You, you gotta yell for her to do it in these a, in the most obnoxious way possible. Rihanna! Take a look at her! Like that? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tic Tac Cocktails Summer Cock Edition. Let's get to it. Smoked rosemary Negroni sour. Get your rosemary. Oh, yeah, that's good. Shit. Spark it up. All right, you just slide the tip, just the tip, and you put this on top. Okay, two ounces of gin. There you go. Sweet vermouth. Calls for one ounce. An ounce of the Campari. Half an ounce of rosemary simple syrup. Half an ounce of lemon. Splash of orange juice. It looks like she did a half, so I'm gonna do a full. We're gonna do an egg white. <laughs> that actually took some serious skill. Next we shake it up and then we're done. Oh, that's beautiful. You're gonna put your rosemary right in there. Oh, f yeah. Cheers to me. And I guess you, and then someone made this, they're important kind Let's of. Let's say 50% of the cheers goes to Rex, 25% goes to Brianna, 25% to me. Fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this over here, I'm gonna go in. Do you have to take it out before you drink it? I've always just left it in. You do you, man. Some people like to have the smelly bit right there under their, their nose holes while they're drinking. Hmm. It's creamier than I thought. It's got a bit of an aftertaste that I don't like yeah. so much. I like it, it's kind of simple though. What is the bitterness I'm tasting? Because I used to I think I didn't like citrus, but I, no. like, I like it old fashioned. You usually put like an orange peel in there. Okay, so lemon juice, maybe the lemon juice. Uh, I don't think it's a sweet vermouth. I okay. don't think it's Bertha's Revenge. That'd be it. Ah, Bertha's Revenge. You know when you're rubbing as you go around the kitchen cabinet? Right. And you're like, I could get some sage or some pepper or some Bertha's Revenge. But there's a lot of ingredients here. I was expecting a little bit more complexity. If I were at a cocktail party, yeah. or like a key party or something, and somebody gave me one of these, I'd go, I'd have another, right? Yeah. But if they were like, is it your first choice? Eh, not really. I would drink it and gladly have another and then go back to the key party. Yeah. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Barton Springs Apothecary. This was an MB that came to us and they have like a product line of shower stuff and shampoo and just uh, facial oils and whatnot. And they, they showed us the stuff and quite frankly, it's like, this is really great quality. It's too girly though. They went back to the drawing board and they repackaged and formulated stuff specifically for the Magnificent Bastards. This is Barton Springs Apothecary yes. that was made for this community. So there's three specific things they came out with. First is the bug spray. All natural ingredients. It's got geranium, it's got rosemary, it's got peppermint oil. So it smells natural, but also yeah. very, very substantial. Like yeah. there's definitely things going on in well, there that would have an impact. A lot of it. Yeah, and it's, it's not so thing, it's, it's not good. so overwhelming and so powerful that it messes up your whiskey nosing. Yeah. That's the bug spray. Then they came out with the all-in-one. This is like your your body wash, your, your shampoo, like all of the things that you need in a single bottle. This is getting clean after a hard, honest day's work. A really nice, simple, fresh, crisp, clean, balanced scent, and it's not overwhelming, mm. so it just gets the job done. It's very, very high quality ingredients. That was very important um, whenever they're putting these together to not cheap out and get the ingredients that you know aren't gonna do the best job possible for mm -hmm. you. Get in there, get in there, right there, right there. Right? Oh, uh, yeah. Finally. We have the healing spray. Basically, you got the aches and the pains from all like the hard manual labor that I do. It's adorable. <laughs> ah, it's cooling. It has a cooling yeah. effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that feels nice. Barton Springs Apothecary very much leans into the natural ingredients, the really high quality stuff, but not at you know the, the cost of it actually being effective. So you're gonna go to bartonspringsapothecary.com, use the code whiskey. And you're gonna get 15% off your first order. Okay, ooh, he's gonna juggle. Did she juggle? I don't know if she juggles. We'll see if she juggles. Brianna, do you juggle? Wait, is it a bow staff? Is that a, the world's biggest muddler? Brianna, do you juggle bow staffs? Are you Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes. That's, do you do all of this? Yes. You should have a raise. This looks much yes. better. 
Yeah. Oh, monkey shoulder? Yeah. You got Hell yeah, I love there. monkey some shoulder. Bitters in there. I am very excited about this. Okay, pour out the mixture. All right, our next drink, a peach whiskey drink. We are gonna have to improvise again because it's not peach season. Um, I, I've canned peaches. Let's do it the way that he did it. All right, next, we're gonna take our peaches. All right, that's probably about one peach. That's about two peaches. Next, we're going to, oh yeah, here's the other part. Um, he muddles it in style. So I'm gonna muddle in style too. Um, so he uses a long one just for sanitary purposes. Nice, get your little protection on there. He does a little spin move, which I've got pretty good. Holy sh are you seeing this right now? All right, so. All right. Okay, that seemed to work really well. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. Just checking on it. All right, now that that worked just the way that we hoped it would, strain all that. Oh, shoot. Alex, you can cut that out. You got that? <laughs> so, shoot. It's not juicy enough, it's too syrupy. Maybe if I just squeeze them. You express your peaches. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, now we need peach syrup. An ounce. We got two of them. Two ounces of the lemon. Angostura bitters. So then you add your monkey shoulder. <laughs> There's no surface that I can set this down on. We'll do like almost two ounces. Crushed ice. Then you strain it over your ice. Not bad, not bad. Use yourself a nice, pretty garnish of mint. And we're just gonna give it a little spanking. That helps it express itself like the dirty little hussy that it is. There you have it. There you are. Thank you. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, this is ice cold. Wow. I love mint. Yeah. And oh, I love monkey shoulder. Fresh so this mint. is smells beautiful. Unless there's some weird citrusy thing, this should be really good. I can't tell if I like that. Man, I'm getting so wistful for that Negroni. That Negroni was the best thing we've Really? You're feeling yeah. the Negroni? This is more complex than the, than the Negroni. You know what, maybe it's the blended scotch that's doing stuff that's weird up against that peach flavor. Ah. I'm, I like it, but going back a second time, you're not feeling it. No. This is a summertime cocktail though. This is poolside, it's hot, this is ice cold glass. If I were worried about getting scurvy, and you had to trick me into getting vitamin vitamin C. This would be a very, uh, I, would, I would get it. So you're an ignorant pirate. Yes, I'm an ignorant pirate who likes girly drinks. <laughs> the monkey shoulder and the peach are fighting. Yeah. They, they ought to be dancing, but they're fighting. I'm not, I'm not caring for that. If I were at a pool, I would totally get just absolutely drunk on this. Yeah. It would be fine for purposes of just, am I, like I'm stuck here, my girlfriend's not picking me up for five hours, or my mom, whatever the context is, I'm stuck here. It's not the thing I'd make at home. Like in what context? Are you just getting <laughs> hammered poolside, waiting for your mom to pick you up? My mom's a cool lady. <laughs> but as it is, if I tell my mom, like, would you mind picking me up so I don't have to drive drunk, uh, Mrs. Heaton is happy to keep the road safe. Thank you. I should really get a driver's <laughs> license too. Uh, yeah. Just so I know how to pace myself. Yeah. How many of these are we doing? Oh, there's like, what, six? Okay. There's two more. Good to know, good to know. Because yeah. I need to know how, when my mom should pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is an old school bikini martini. Okay, old school bikini martini. That looks festive and summery. I like the soundtrack too. Whoa, he juggles as well? Yeah. Uh, Is this a thing? Do bartenders juggle? On TikTok they do. Brianna, you, have you learned to juggle yet? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Pretty good actually. Cool. Wow, did you see that? Wow. I just realized something. Fine strain it. Add a half ounce of vinegar. Okay, straight to the bottom. And I garnish with a pineapple on here. And there you have it, an old school cookie martini.
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you please go to the cocktail, please? Yeah. The bikini martini. Oh. I'm gonna try and match this guy trick for trick because I am also really good at flair bartending, so let's get into it. Ounce and a half of vodka. Then we need the Malibu. <laughs> Ounce and a half of that. Ounce of pineapple juice. Quarter of an ounce of lime. And when he goes like this. What the hell? <laughs> Nailed it. So we need some ice. Grab your glass, double strain it. <laughs> Half an ounce of grenadine? Bruh, that ain't gonna fit in there. <laughs> oh, it fit perfectly. Okay, he knows what he's doing. Oh, I forgot to set it on fire. 144 proof. Is it on fire? Can you tell? Oh yeah, it's a burning, all right. He uses his finger, just dips it in. <laughs> Should I just use the torch directly to my finger? No. <laughs> so that's just for a presentation. But look at that, it's beautiful. Then we need our pineapple garnish. A good chunk off of there. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> ass! Oh, that was sick! Whoa! Oh, Alex, Alex, it's on uh, just blow it up. the blow counter. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna put your pineapple garnish. He uses the regular lame maraschino red cherries. Don't use those, don't waste your time. Get the good Luxardos. That looks gorgeous. All right, next cocktail. Oh, f***ing balls. Just relax. <laughs> you are so this is the opposite of juggling. Yes. What are you doing with your Shut life? Up. Let's let's list our disappointments. I've got really good balance. I'm supposed to get a cheap gross maraschino cherry, not yeah. I gave you a Luxardo. Classy. These I are classy. Classy cherries. Okay, this is like pina colada flavor. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I like the old school classic pina colada. I think for me to like fruit flavored drinks, I have to be kind of hot outside and on a boat or something. It, that is true. If I, if I were on a boat, this would be very nice. Yeah. Basically, when, when I'm drinking fruit, I need to have given up. <laughs> I just need, to, it's, it's, it's the taste of me giving up. You've it's just thrown yourself God into the it. momentum it's, of it's, the it's moment. It's hot outside, we're all getting drunk. I'm not gonna read that Gore Vidal book I said I would. I'm just, let's, let's just do this. This is our life now. We're drinking fruit yeah. cocktails on your pontoon. And so, <laughs> So I'm already at the limit of what I am willing to entertain in the sweetness factor of a cocktail because I'm looking at the bottom. Whoa. That is the grenadine. Oh, so I haven't even worked my way down to the sweetness yet. No, like I, this. I, I've been putting in the. This is like the upper limit of what I can handle sweetness wise. Do you ever have a, a, a Cracker Jack box when you were a kid? And you'd eat these Cracker Jacks, they weren't good. But you'd eat them to get like a little whistle or something. It's like a little prize for you at the bottom. You know what's amazing to me? You're putting up with that bit. That technically you're younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> that Whoa. is neon blue, man. You don't see Pineapple, that? Pineapple, blue carousel. That color in nature. Coconut cream. Oh, cream, wow. White rum vodka, mix everything. Oh, what is that like? What is on the rim of you that? You know what this looks like? That blue milk from Star Wars. It does, because it comes out of the animal teat. Yeah. All right, this next summer cock is called Swimming Pool Cocktail. So they used these cute little square rectangular glasses. We don't have those, but I have an even better by the pool glass, and that's tiki glasses. So get over it. So first we do ice, pineapple juice, two ounces of that. Blue caracayao, our favorite ingredient. One ounce of that. Next we've got coconut cream. Do we have a can opener? <laughs> and then you dump it in here. Oh, sh oh. Maybe do it over the sink. Do a little ounce of that. Ugh, why does that stink? It smells like turkey. This smells like turkey. An ounce of cream. An ounce and a half of our white rum. We're gonna shake it and strain it. We're going to rim our glass. So you do your simple syrup. And then you get your sparkles. Oh, yeah. And then we pour it in. Oh, yeah, look at that color. 
Oh, that's beautiful. It looks like she garnishes with like snake plant. I don't have those, but we had a pineapple from earlier. So we're gonna garnish with those. Okay. And then a lime. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Oh, so we got the ice chunks in there. Okay, here's what I like about this so far. You don't see this color in nature, this kind of electric neon green, so already I'm drinking something in defiance of God's will. Yeah. So that's good. So this, I'm not sure what. No, 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 don't. Oh. Mm. Oh, God, no, I hate that. That's... What is this? No, don't care for that at all. Look. So this is what happened. She did drop a lime on the floor, mm -hmm. and it's this one, because mm -hmm. there's horse on my lime. <laughs> It's got like a nice froth to it. There's some viscosity from, uh, from yeah. that, that coconut. Yeah, some foamy bit. Here we go. Again, watery. You know what? You've gone to like the summer resorts, the swim up poolside bars. Mm -hmm. And then your first thought is, I'm gonna get a cocktail. It's like, oh, they watered down the cocktail. But maybe that's just the nature of these summertime cocktails. I think that's it. Are fruity cocktails watery tasting just because there's so much water and fruit? Is that the issue? I, that's the theory. Hey, Brianna, you know this like like candy stuff you got at the top here? Yeah. Do you have like a lot more of that you could pour in here? Yep. Yeah, so you go a lot. Keep going. With that. Just keep going. Imagine it's my first time at an Italian restaurant. You're bringing Parmesan out. Come on. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Parmesan that up. Keep going. Yeah. That's good. Enough, thank you. Any more would be gauche. So he's going hard into the sprinkles. I'm gonna need you to fill it with booze. So my theory is what I actually want is sugar. Oh, That's there's what your I color. Want. There's your color. I my want, God, I want man. sugar and color. You just want liquor. Yeah. And I think that makes you the, the more cultivated tongue, right? That's why I'm invited to keyboard it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? White oh, this rum. is the white rum. Oh, come on. Keep, keep that Parmesan coming. That's what there Daddy you go. likes. There you go. All the way. We'll try yours, then we'll try mine. Honestly, that's better. With all the sugary bits? Yes, I think it's better. Wow. Yes. Isn't that better? Holy hell. Isn't that better? It's better. That's way better. Yeah. Now, hold on in, because this is just all rum at this, this point. This dad did not want to come on this vacation. The vacation's not all expenses so. paid as stipulated. Apparently we have to tip the room, which is bullshit. And I had a tough time, and we're just gonna drink my goddamn cocktail. That's This is a dad cocktail at the resort. It's just- Also rum. better. It's They're also better. They're both better. I'm gonna go quarter booze, and we're gonna do your, your sugary nonsense. There we go. Add sugar or booze. That's what I've learned from this. One, three, one, two, three. Come on, man. I'm Frankly, just... I prefer the mostly sugar one. No, no, no. I think what you do is you do like just a couple of shots, and then you've done your hard work for the day, and then you enjoy the sugar. This is mine. Okay, well, I'm gonna drink the, Dad has noticed the pool boys been coming around twice a week drink. <laughs> we don't have a pool, Judy! Andrew, thanks for hanging out. Hey, this thanks is for a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Uh, what's going on with you? Where can people find more of you? Uh, check out my podcast, The Political Orphanage. I'm usually this drunk when I record it. Right, you bastards. You want a beautiful bourbon? Oh, this is weeded bourbon. This is the Eleanor. This is batch number five. It's 120 proof at 6% ABV. What we do is we take two year weeded bourbon out of Indiana. Then we bring it back to Texas. We age it for a while. This is four years and 10 months. Then we choose our favorite barrels from that, uh, from that collection. And then we blend them together into a really nice batch. So this is available in the description down below right now while they have some stock.